Hey everybody, Ian from uh, Big Wheelie Jeep here. Keep getting a lot of questions about the foam for the for our seats that we make. Uh, it is a a dual layer foam. It's a little less density on the top, a little more density on the bottom. Keeps it from from bagging out and bottoming out after a long day. But um, the other thing is that I get people asking me about seat pans because we don't provide seat pans. Um, if you wanted to cut your own seat pans out of plywood, you can do that. These measure 18 and a half by 15 and a half. And this is about an inch and a half radius. So you could use something that's maybe three inches round, three inches in diameter to mark this. Uh, and then you want to cut that about a quarter inch inside your line when you lay out your template if you don't have the foam already. If you have the foam, you can use the foam to trace onto your plywood and then cut that about a quarter inch smaller all the way around. If you don't cut it a little smaller, your, your plywood will poke out on the, on the edges once you put your uh, cinch your drawstring down. So once again, 15 and a half by 18 and a half, three inch uh, diameter template or an inch and a half radius, and you, you can cut your own plywood uh, seat pans. I suggest at least a half inch plywood. Um, and then you can use those little, I forget what those nuts are called, but it's a little like nuts are for wood has these claws you can drill a hole and then you can suck that down into the plywood and it won't spin on the inside so you can still use your bolts on the seat frame or the holes in the seat frame to bolt your pan to the uh, frame so that's it for now I think glad to have you thanks for buying our products I appreciate it bye